Um, so my name is Anna and I attended the course actually with you two last uh, winter semester, um, which was the substitute course as well as the module digital architectonics. Um, and I think the first question was who we would like to encourage. Um, so to be honest, um, I uh, I met Vera during another course and there she was a guest lecturer and she started uh, and kept on talking about language in general and for me that was something that I actually missed during the whole um, during during the, the bachelor as well as the, the master of architecture because we are so used to communicate with floor plans and sections and facades and so on and um, yeah, merely the communication through drawings and images. And I was missing the, the, the piles of books uh, which are offering new worlds in, in old ones. And to also to find um, a form of expression that's able to, to capture the, the very characteristic of a project or an architectonic thought and for me, I was wondering for a long time what that might be because I didn't quite feel it with plans only. So I found it very interesting to experiment with discussions and poems and forms of writing that uh, might be able to, to, to also be as artistic as well as technical as architecture and architectonic thought is. And for me, that was quite a ride. So I really enjoyed that. And I would say um, the course is for everyone that's also um, a little bored by the Lorem Ipsum text in the top left corner of a poster um, and who is in love with words. So I would say that's, yeah. And the, um, the output, if there is one of the two, the two courses was um, at first the little mini tractatus as well as the, the poems, um, which we were asked to transform. It was a poem by Gertrude Stein. And what was quite funny there was that, um, that actually it resulted not only in, in so many different forms and variations of uh, Gertrude Stein, so Gertrude Stein dressing up as this and that, but in different characters. So it was like Gertrude Stein met a lot of new people with each and every one that participated during the course. Um, and I wrote that in German because I found it quite uh, interesting to be confronted with a language that feels so natural, but becomes so hard when you are trying to start with poetry. So, um, that was, yeah, very nice. Also, it was nice to to deal with a theme that is or a topic that um, is so academic in one moment and to, to play with it in a second. So at this time, I started to be interested in surfaces, so in the interfaces that surround us um, digitally as well as in the analog space. And it resulted in... Uh, a dialect between the white cube and the covered wall. So the white and the dark blue color. And that was yeah quite fun for me. And it was also interesting that at first it it didn't also gain a, a character, but also it changed in moods. So at first it was a little it sounded a little um, longingly or even melancholic. And then it became a, a something like a comedy and that was nice to, to witness. And for the mini tractatus, that was also um, a collection of, of little texts that just came around. So it was imaginative dialogues between uh, personalities and uh, it also dealt with the surface um, issue, but in another angle. So it, the different texts tried to look at it in different uh, perspectives and yeah I think it's not uh, over yet so it keeps on coming so the, the texts um, 
or are just the beginning, which is nice. I, I mean, I, I brought with me the little intro that I wrote for all of us at that time. I could read it if you want. The, um, because for me, well, um, um, for me, it sums up what the course actually was for me, which is um, that it encourages to use digitalization um, not as a burden, but as a um, as an advocate or something that is an instrument rather than something that we try to uh, push away or merely use how it is presented to us. Um, and also to, to have a little more fun with it and to, yeah, that was nice for me. Mm. And also to start coding, which is something quite abstract, but then when it's presented to you, it seems as if language is actually in everything and anything. So, um, yeah, so the intro was, um, ladies and gentlemen of the module of 2020, welcome to our galaxy, Voices We're Speaking. Would you like to step out the wheel and accompany us for a while? We don't know who you are, but maybe we are not that different after all. Do you really care so much to find a destination? Don't worry, we are just as excitedly lost. Why not leave the key to familiar doors as we could enter this house, another house, by thinking ourselves through the walls? Would you care to host three bandits and their appendix, a milky way of concepts having the habit to blow away our shaking sanity, carefully constructed little words of Arihats to dance hula with our mottos, make your worst childhood daydream reality, as floor and every foundation finally turns to lava, making you tiptoe around in magma, trying again how it feels to stand up and take a few steps in space, which is infinitely alien. Strange sounds roll down your struggling tongue as you watch your mouth from awkward spells, never having been more bewitched by an architecture that is so much more than itself. Purling honey drops from ceilings as the castle unveils itself in order to form a new of what is never new, the first room, another room, making space for any other room, another form of life, a first time, another time at the same time. How on earth should one give something like advice as architecture is so much more intense as I've ever thought it would be? If there is anything I have learned, I would say, go dance with these bandits. And these were the three that uh, supported us, the philology and, and Arctic, um, mathematics and digitalization. And it was, it felt like the whole, the whole module felt like an intro. So I thought, yeah, I might read just only the intro. And yeah, I'm still trying to finish my studies. So I have a few more months to go. And yeah, but I hope these questions will not be over. And, um, I would say that um, I feel more free to, to, to write in general. So I'm not so um, stuck anymore in the academic way of how, to, how it shall be pre presented and also to, to, um, to mix up different um, um, personalities, like for example, for the diploma, but I feel that um, now the authors become real characters that talk, and I didn't have that before, so that uh, they actually can can come to life a little bit, and it feels more lively to to work academically. I'd say that's that's. Um, what I like the most um, and um, to experiment a little more with um, with language and just to have the impression that every plan that we draw is actually just the same in another form and to lose the fear to, to, to do it in the wrong way. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. And I hope it was only the, the beginning 